These are the top 10 shopping secrets to help you save the most money at Ikea and learn something that very few people know today. Welcome back to the channel. Hey guys, I am the YouTube deal guy, Matt Granite. If this is the store and if this is the type of content that you'd like to see, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn your notifications on. I've done shopping secrets for Aldi, Trader Joe's, Walmart, Target, you name it, Amazon. I, I'm here to help you save at your favorite stores, but I, I wanna make sure I know what they are, so I'm always helping you guys. Before we get to the top 10 shopping saving secrets, I'm gonna take you into my local IKEA store and, and take you on a bit of a, a treasure hunt to show you the best deals inside the store. I do have one thing that I wanna showcase, which I just added to my website, mattsdailydeals.com. A reminder, I use affiliate links, which means I benefit monetarily if you're kind enough to use any of my links. It's a tool that could build pretty much any piece of Ikea furniture. And for those of you watching me for the first time, I'm a tool almost always, but not when I build Ikea furniture, and this is a $19.99 12-in-1 multi-tool, which will build virtually any piece of furniture. Now, the first thing that I wanna mention when you step inside the doors of your Ikea store, a lot of us believe the only way through the store is the way Ikea wants us to walk through it, which is a never-ending walk this way, left, right, follow the arrows on the floor, walk through 11, thousand square feet of bedroom furniture before you get to the one kitchen item that you're trying to find. What you guys might not be aware of is there's actually a way around the store which is revealed on the in-store shopping list which you can pick up that actually give you a different route through the store based on what department you want to go to. So you do not need to spend 35 minutes walking through the store which is what the average walk takes at most Ikea locations just so you can buy the one item that you need. Ikea shopping secret number two. If you join the Ikea family, which is, is basically joining their VIP program that has a lot of perks, the main perk that you get bestowed upon you is a 90-day price protection. So if you buy something and the price drops after you purchase it within a 90 day period, as long as you've kept the original receipt within 90 days, Ikea will refund you that difference, which is very important to note. And that's a lot of cash back potentially in your pocket after a big shopping spree. Ikea shopping secret number three is that you can actually buy many of your favorite Ikea products without even shopping or buying the products from Ikea in the first place. Say hello to Amazon. And there's a trick to get legitimate IKEA products on Amazon. I wanna show you two different things. If you guys are looking for products like shelves or desks, there's a distinction between the two types of products sold on IKEA. Some, like this IKEA wall shelf, are completely jacked up in price and selling from third parties that have actually just purchased the products from Ikea, put them onto a truck, and then will deliver them to you at these very long shipping intervals and they've, they've really jacked up the price. What you guys wanna look for generally, if you are going to buy a product from Ikea and you wanna pay close to what you would spend in the specific Ikea store in your community, you wanna look for sponsored listings and you also wanna generally look for products that have a lot of ratings or are fulfilled by Prime. The prime products are generally third-party distribution houses that IKEA uses to sell their products on Amazon. So Mask Enterprise is one of those. You can see that the, the price that they're showing for these three potted outdoor succulents, in my calculations, is actually $3 more than what you would spend at your local IKEA, but hey, you don't need to pay the crazy shipping fees that Ikea will charge you, and you can enjoy Prime shipping if you are in fact a Prime member. So there are things to be found on Amazon, but just keep in mind when you see Ikea products that are not Prime, that have, in some cases, the Swede as their shipping company or distribution house, you are not buying from Amazon, you're buying from a third party, and a lot of these products have been jacked up in price. But hey, the free shipping might be worth it. Just watch very closely when you are shopping for IKEA products on a third party website, especially Amazon. Shopping secret number four, those impulse bins that you see located throughout the store get better and better in price as you get closer to the cash register. That's also not the best section of the store to even find a deal. 
So while we all love those giant bins, just be very careful as Ikea knows that they can entice you as you get into the store. You're more likely to actually put more items into your shopping cart. And as you get closer and closer to the checkout and you've spent even more money in your head and you have the whole psychology of that couch and the other pieces of furniture that you need to buy, the impulse bin prices become more aggressive on items that are in fact actually replicated throughout the store. The best section of the store to find a deal is generally the as is section. These sections have the best loot. Now these are items that have been returned. They're available as is, final sale. But in most cases, if you shop after a weekend when a lot of people have regretted their purchases and returned them, you're gonna find a beautifully restocked as is section. That is one of my go-tos whenever I go into an Ikea store. Ikea shopping secret number five pertains to returns. And if you think this is good, please wait till uh, number six because I'm gonna build on this with some really crucial pieces of information. Ikea has one of the best return policies in the world. 365 days to change your mind, even if you've assembled your merchandise. As long as it's in a condition that can be resold, you have 365 days to return it and that's just you changing your mind that doesn't actually take into account defects or product malfunctions, which we'll, we'll talk about in part number six or saving secret number six, not parts. I need to learn what I'm saying. I'm a professional YouTuber. Anyhow, when you bring your product back to an Ikea return center, or it's usually a separate entrance as part of the Ikea shopping warehouse, you can wait an average of 90 minutes on Saturday or Sunday to return your product. And sometimes those wait times extend past the two hour mark. I can attest to that. It's the worst thing on earth. I hate it and I've done it several times. If you want to return a product to Ikea, I'm going to strongly suggest that you consider a return on a weekday morning. It's generally dead. I'm not suggesting that you take a day off of work to do this, but if you aren't working or if you have available time or if you have a day off, those morning returns can be done probably in about 30 minutes versus 90 minutes or two hours on a weekend. And the longer you wait in the day, the worse it gets. Now, with that being said, that line is filled with people that are all generally making the same mistake. And that brings me to shopping secret number six. A lot of us buy products from Ikea, or if this hasn't happened to you, it's happened to me multiple times, and you realize that extra screw, that extra hinge is missing. It's infuriating. And it's even worse when you go back to the Ikea and you're convinced that you need to wait in line to pick up that product. You do not need to do that. I'm going to tell you two things which are very important to note. You can go into an Ikea, flag down a store associate, and they can actually take you to bins of extra screws or pegs that you can then take for free as long as you've purchased the product and you have a receipt with you. You can also call your local Ikea store in many communities and they will send you the missing parts free of charge in the mail. You do not need to lose an additional two hours in line with a bunch of people that want to talk about their furniture returns and missing pieces if you know this quick trick, which is, of course, your saving secret number six. For saving secret number seven, if you hate people, crowds, or just feel a little bit generally claustrophobic, I've got a savings insider secret for you. Now, generally, as you can tell, guys, I don't get out much and I don't have many friends, except for the great subscribers of this channel. So if you subscribe, uh, thank you. You're making me feel good about myself and helping me build this channel. But I, I, I don't have a lot of social interaction. So I don't mind an Ikea and walking around people, but if you don't want to deal with the crowds or the wait times, you can actually buy all of your Ikea furniture online and then pick it up in store and even see what it looks like in store before you put it in your car for a flat rate of $5. So this is a new thing that's been launched in different countries. It's available in the US, Canada, Sweden right now. And the prices vary based on where you are, but in my community, it's a $5 flat rate that enables you to pick up your order in a store after you've placed it online. In my community, there's, I think, a handful of Ikea stores of which I have access to. So for that $5, it's a quick drive, it's easy. If you live very far from an Ikea location, that might not be worth your while, but if you actually calculate how much it will cost you to pick up a smaller item from your Ikea versus paying what are sometimes prohibitively expensive shipping fees and delivery fees, it might be worth your while to, to do that $5 click and collect option. Just throwing that out there. For Ikea Insider Saving Secret number eight, and by the way, if you like this one, which is a multi-part saving secret, I've got a really good number 10, so stick with me. But anyhow, number eight is tied to the associates at Ikea. So I wanna tell you guys a few different things. If you go into a grocery store like Aldi or Trader Joe's, you'll find that the sales folks are 
very excited to help you shop. They approach you, they come up to you, they converse with you. If you go into some furniture stores where they work on commission, they are generally going to stalk you at the door and follow you through the store. The IKEA associates are very different. They stand in areas of the store off to the side and they have nothing to do with you unless you approach them. They're not being rude, they're not being antisocial. That's how they're trained. But you can actually get a lot from those sales associates if you approach them. So if you approach a sales associate, you can do three things which are tied to the shopping secret. First, you can get a quote on the spot for what it would cost to get your IKEA furniture assembled. While there are assembly services through IKEA, there's also some great local services of which they can inform you. Part two of this, if you are moving, an IKEA associate can generally give you a coupon or help you get an additional discount on your product tied to your move where you'll get an additional $20 to $25 off a larger purchase. This varies by store and varies by IKEA franchise, but that's something to keep in mind. And the third part of this shopping secret is if you see a model, an in-display model in a store and it's the last available product for something that you really want, it could be a succulent or a throw pillow or a remote control organizer. The sales associates on the floor are the only people that can determine whether or not you can purchase the store display model. You cannot take a store display model, put it in your shopping cart and go to the cash register. The folks that work at the cash register do not have the ability to dictate whether or not you can buy a store model. So you will need a floor store associate and they are there to help you even though it sometimes seems when they stand off to the side that they don't necessarily like you, but they do. Trust me, I've tried. Ikea shopping secret number nine allows you to try before you buy, which is a phenomenal thing if you are moving or spending a lot of money and you want to figure out how that will work. Ikea Place is an augmented reality app where it's a, a virtual reality product placement in your home where you can take photos of your room and then through true to scale modeling, see specifically how a couch or a chair or an ottoman or whatever it is you're buying will look in your space. And you can also shuffle entire Ikea room sets through your living space. It's an amazing free app. There's also tables for designers and interior decorators in Ikea where you can actually set up and use one of the free workspaces. And a reminder, if you are an interior designer or you do a lot of decorating for a living or staging, you can get an additional discount at Ikea. You just need to approach one of those store associates, sometimes standing off to the side. For saving secret number 10, this is all tied to when you can find, I'm doing a lot of hand motions. This is when I get ultra excited, sorry. Hands behind the back so I can communicate effectively. The savings at Ikea are all different by store. They're franchises. They don't all run the same discounts at the same time like Walmart or Target or, or some other store that you might be shopping at. The best thing to do online is sign up for your specific zip code Ikea locations catalog, whether it's digital or you, if they are still mailing things out in your community. Make sure you are tied to them through the VIP program as well. There's different events that they're going to invite you to, but it's zip code specific. I know we've reached a point where a lot of us just don't want to give out our addresses or our phone numbers or our zip codes to any third party because we don't want our information sold and I hear you. But for Ikea, before you buy things from them, the discounts all vary based on location. And a lot of the other uh, vloggers and bloggers that I've read will tell you shop on Wednesday and shop on, it, it's completely different by community. There's no one day to get a better deal. And because the bonus days at Ikea are done differently by community, it's anyone's fair game on what's the best day to shop. So sign up, make sure you know what days you're going to get the better deals. Use that 90 day price protection and you will be saving more cash than anyone else that you, you see waiting in line at an Ikea store. I hope you guys like this information. None of this is sponsored or promoted by Ikea. They don't know I'm making this video. This is just me as a consumer advocate trying to help you guys save as much cash as humanly possible. So when you know what video or what store you want me to tackle next, please leave me a comment. If you like this, if you give it a thumbs up, I'll be forever grateful. And if you could subscribe and turn your notifications on, I can promise for that next video upload, you're going to save even more money than you hopefully ever thought possible at that respective store. All right, I love you, bye.